Hi there, this is Noah with the DRS Marketing and Training Department. This is going to be a brief video tutorial on setting up custom tonnage in your DRS folder. Now before we get rolling, I want to encourage you to like and subscribe to the DRS YouTube channel by clicking on the link in the corner up here, or there's a link in the bottom corner down there as well, and that way you never miss out on any of these updates. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm logged into the back end under the Admin tab, and I am going to click into Admin Products Items. And we're going to click here to add a new item. And we're going to go ahead and call this item 11-yard dumpster tonnage. I have 11-yard, 15-yard, and 20-yard dumpsters set up in this practice folder. So we're just going to match whatever sizes of dumpsters we have in our folder. Now this is important. We're going to leave the cost field blank. That's very important, and I'll explain that in a bit here. We're going to enter in 100.0. Now that's important for a number of reasons. We need that quantity to be a really high number because we don't want the system to tell us that we have an overbooking if we enter in, for example, 11 extra tons and we only entered in that we have 10 in quantity. So we are also not going to bother with a picture because this is not an item that's going to have its own web page. This is just an item that we're putting into the back end so that we can create new orders for our tonnage, which is going to keep our accounting in order. And again, it, this is not a customer facing thing, so we don't need to bother with a picture. Now I am going to put in some description text and that's just going to be as a safety precaution so that my employees don't screw things up. And you'll see what I mean in just a second here. Okay, so you can see I just put some text in there to tell my employees, do not mess with this. Don't change these settings, etc. So we're going to go ahead and put it in our dumpster rentals category. We are going to set it to display to customer no. That's what's going to prevent it from showing up in the store and having its own web page so your customers can enter it in and screw things up. So we're going to now copy this. And we're going to just change the name to match the other dumpsters that we have. We're going to do one for our 15-yard dumpster. And everything else should be the same. Quantity, cost field is blank. We've got the safety description text in there. Category is good. Display to customer, no. So we're good. The only thing we need to change in this case is the name to match for our 15-yard dumpster. And then we can do it one more time for our 20-yard dumpster. All right, we are good to go now. So let's just double check that they're in there. Yep, everything looks good. We are going to go into admin rules, price rule sets. And we're going to go ahead and add a new one. And we're going to call it the same thing because that just is going to make this more intuitive. We're not going to bother with this customer facing text. That's not relevant in this particular case. So we're going to click into the rules and we're going to add charge by quantity. And we're going to specify how many tons are included for this particular dumpster. So let's say our 11 yard comes with two free tons included in the price of the original rental. And let's say we're going to charge $50 for each additional ton. And we're going to round our calculation on that additional tonnage to the nearest hundredth. So that means we need to add that zero there. So we have two decimal places. Or if we're just rounding it to the nearest tenth, then we would leave it like that. In this case, I'm going with the hundredth. And I'm going to go ahead and submit this now. And once again, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to copy and make any edits that might be appropriate for our other inventory items, our other dumpsters. So if our 15 yard comes with say 2.5 tons included, then we're just going to do that. And by the way, that 100.0, the adding of 0, 0.0 to the quantity in that dumpster tonnage item is what tells the system that you can use decimals in here. So that's why it was important to add that 0, 0.0 in the quantity field. So anyway, so we're going to say with 15 yard dumpsters, 2.5 tons are included. Let's do the same cost for the overage. Leave that rounding units at to the nearest hundredth. And we're going to go ahead and submit. And then we're going to do it one more time for the people for our 20 yard dumpster third verse same as the first all right we're going to include three tons with our 20 yard dumpsters overage cost is still going to be 50 rounding units still to the nearest hundredth and bada bing we are good to go so now we're going to go into our schedule profiles under admin product schedule profiles 
And we are going to, you guessed it, add a new one. And we're going to name it, you guessed it, the same thing as previous stuff. Mode needs to remain at none. That's important. We don't need to worry about times and slot sizes or day settings. We're going to make sure to choose the correct price rule for this particular dumpster. We're going to set time and time at yes. We're not going to bother with the rest of this stuff. We are going to allow customer level pricing. That's the whole point of this video. So then we're going to go ahead and submit. And we're going to do the same darn thing for our 15 yard and 20 yard. Starting to sound like a broken record. I do that a lot. So again, though, we, it's important. We need to make sure to match that price rule. So here we go. And one last time for the 20 yard. All right. So now that we've gotten that done, we need to go into admin products add-ons. And we're going to, once again, add a new one. We're going to, once again, Call it the same thing as the other ones. We're not going to bother with customer facing text. Once again, this is a back end feature. Our customers aren't going to see this. This is only for us. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 11 yard dumpster, the base item. And then I'm going to, under auto package name, I'm going to put in this merge field name in parentheses and then swap out. And that's going to, basically, that's going to put a, a swap out item in our service add-ons it's going to enable us to create a new order for a swap out so it's going to say 11 yard dumpster swap out i'm going to add a few more of these i believe in my case i'm going to need five you're going to get a feel for how many you need as we do this i'm going to add my other dumpsters and this is going to be a convenience so what this enables me to do is to i guess you'd call it a swap out i'm going to create an order for that same customer for a 15 yard dumpster or a 20 yard dumpster so again just putting this in this add-on is going to add it as a button that shows up in that service add-ons area all right then i am going to add my tonnage and then i am going to also add a dumpster move charge so if you have different charges for moving your different size dumpsters, then you're going to want a move charge for each of those items. So it'll probably be called 11 yard dumpster move charge. In my case, I'm only charging a $75 fee for a dumpster move charge, regardless of the size of the dumpster. All right. So this is all we need to include in here. We are good to go. I'm going to go ahead and submit. And then just like before, we're going to copy. We're going to have to make a few more edits with our copies in this particular case. Of course, we need to change the name. We're creating one of these for each of our dumpsters. We're going to change it to match the dumpster that we're making this for. That merge field can stay the same. And we're going to add the other dumpsters in, again, as options. We're going to make sure we choose the correct tonnage item. And we're good to go there. And then we're going to do it one last time for our 20 yard. Okay, so this looks good. The next thing we need to do is go back into admin products items. And we want to make sure that schedule profile and service add-ons are both showing up in this menu view, which they are. If they're not, then you would just need to click into customize and make sure that those boxes are both checked. And then you would just need to make sure to click on update. But again, in my case, they are both showing up. So I'm going to click out of there. Then I am going to switch into spreadsheet mode, which is going to save us time because it's going to enable us to make edits straight from this screen rather than having to click into each item and then back out. So it's fewer clicks, faster process. Now this part of the process is important. We need to click into schedule profile and rather than just using the category default schedule profile, we need to assign the schedule profile that we created specifically for tonnage to that item. And we need to do the same thing for the dumpsters themselves, but in this case, we can just use the, the schedule profile that the dumpster base item uses. And now technically, the dumpsters are all using the four-day schedule profile already. So changing it to four-day instead of category default isn't going to change what schedule profile they're going to use. But it is necessary to actually choose that schedule profile rather than category default in order to make custom pricing work. In other words, if we, d if we just left it at category default, we could enable custom pricing for the tonnage, but not for the initial dumpster rental. 
So again, I'm going to go ahead and choose four day out of this because that's the schedule profile that those items are using. And I want to enable custom pricing for the tonnage. Again, it needs to match the name of the item. Keep it simple. And then again, for the dumpster, we're going to four day. And let's see, we're almost finished here going to 20 yard dumpster tonnage. You can see how much faster this is than if we were to be in browse mode and have to click into each individual item one by one. That's a lot more page loads, takes a lot more time. So then under service add-ons, we need to add the 11 yard dumpster tonnage to both our tonnage items and the dumpster items. And that's going to make sure that that little blue button shows up for these items in both the CRM and the dispatch tab. And we need to make sure to match the add-ons to the size of the dumpster. So we want the 20 yard dumpster tonnage add-on with the 20 yard dumpster and the 20 yard dumpster tonnage items. So we are good to go here. I am going to switch back into browse mode as I prefer it for a regular view of our stuff when we're not making edits directly on mass. So, okay, so we're good to go here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click into the CRM and I'm going to click into a customer that I want to enable special pricing for, in this case, my most handsome customer. And I am going to then click into special. And that's going to enable us to set up custom pricing for this customer. So now this is the price rule pricing. So if I want to get more specific and apply changes for specific items, then I could click into the item itself. So for example, the 11 yard dumpster, if I want to let this handsome fellow have it for 250 instead of 295, then I can do that. And same with the 15 yard, let's say he gets 325 instead of 365 and 425 instead of 450 for that 20 yard dumpster just can't resist that guy he's so charming you know i just have to give him tons of discounts by the way we can see that the swap outs are automatically created so that auto package name field in the add-ons makes it so that it creates that item so that 11 yard dumpster swap out item was automatically created by the system and you can see it's it's all it is is literally just the dumpster itself but it calls it a swap out right because if you're swapping if the the customer initially got the item it's a dumpster at that point but then if you're bringing them another one then it's a swap out so anyway so i'm going to go ahead and enable the same price for the swap out that I have for the base dumpster. Not that you have to do that, right? That's just what I'm choosing to do in this case. So we're gonna go with the same price that I'm giving him for the dumpster. And we are good to go there. Now, if I wanna give him special pricing for the tonnage, I wanna click into here, into the price rule for that tonnage. The tonnage items, now this is important. You don't want to click into the tonnage because remember the base price is nothing. And if we change that, remember it was important that we leave that base price field blank. And the reason for that is because the system uses the price rules to calculate your tonnage pricing. So we need to click into the price rule itself, which remember is charged by quantity. So we're going to say, okay, so this gentleman gets 2.5 tons for free with the 11 instead of two. And we're only going to charge him 40 bucks for each additional ton. So we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to give him three tons for free. We're going to update that. And then we are going to, again, only charge him $40 an additional ton for the 15 yard. Same here. We're going to give him three and a half tons for free. And we are going to only charge him $40 an additional ton. So we've got the custom pricing set up for this gentleman here. And what that means is we can click into any of these. And this is bad practice on my part. You should know by now that you don't want multiple dumpsters on the same invoice. Bad Noah. So, and I'm Noah, just for the record. I'm not saying bad customer. I'm saying bad owner, which is also the customer in this case, because this is a demo account. It's like an episode of the Twilight Zone over here. So let's edit the order that actually has the right stuff going on here. So I'm going to click into this service add-on here. And so we can see that the service add-ons has enabled these buttons to appear in here. So that's the benefit of the service add-ons. If I click in here, then it's going to add that swap out order. 
And then if I click in here, that means that, okay, they wanted a bigger dumpster this time. But of course, this video is about custom tonnage, so I'm going to actually do this one. So we're going to say, okay, so amount for 11-yard dumpster tonnage. Again, we're giving this guy 2.5 tons for free. Let's say his tonnage measured out to 4.98 tons. So then we're going to go ahead and submit. And, okay, so this is set up correctly, and we can see that that looks about right for the pricing there. And it's a good idea to always test everything, right? Always make sure that you did it correctly. So we're actually going to click into the cart for this particular order, and that's going to give us a breakdown of everything. So 2.5 included, and then $40 times 2.48. We entered in 4.98, so the math is correct there. So everything looks good here. All right, now let's pretend that that guy, Noah, is so conceited that he just pissed me off, and I don't want to give him any more discounts. So we're going to reverse the custom pricing for Noah. He just, you know, he tempted fate too many times by giving himself too many backhanded compliments in training videos. So what we're going to do is click back into his profile in the CRM, and this little refresh button right here, we're just going to click on that, and that's going to undo the custom pricing for him for those particular items that we're clicking on, or price rules in that case, and, and items now. So here we go. He's back to the standard price. That's what you get for being conceited. So that's it. That's how you do custom tonnage. This process should take you, if you have a relatively small inventory, anywhere from like a half an hour to, you know, up to three or four hours if you have a lot of inventory. Just remember to follow these steps and remember that when it comes time to assign your schedule profiles and your service add-ons, do it in spreadsheet mode. If you're making mass edits like that, spreadsheet mode is way faster. It'll save you a ton of time. And that copy feature, again, is also extremely important and testing. Make sure you're always testing everything. So that's it for custom tonnage. That's all there is to it. Hope this was helpful. As always, the tech support department is happy to help out with any questions that you have about this or anything else, and you can reach them at 505-435-9731, extension 102, or support at dumpsterrentalsystems.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.